This video is brought to you by See You Again. Hello and welcome back to Simple Tech Reviews. Today we'll be looking at the A20 dual camera 10 inch mirror dash cam. The A20 is a rear view mirror that comes with a full 10 inch screen that will show you a much wider view of what is behind your vehicle through the back camera's live stream. It records both the front and back of your vehicle in HD video and works as a reversing backup camera monitor. Let's begin with a quick unboxing. We first have the rear view mirror, then the lighter power adapter, then the waterproof rear camera. Next is the rear camera cable. Next are the rubber mounting bands, a double sided tape and screws to mount the rear camera, and finally the user guide. Having a closer look at the mirror, on the front we have the 10 inch touch screen with a resolution of 1600 by 400 and the microphone. On the back we see the speaker, ventilation grills, the reset pinhole, and the adjustable 6 layer lens 1080p camera. On top there's the USB power port, the rear camera input, and the micro SD card slot up to 32 gigabytes. And on the bottom the single power button. To install the mirror, insert the micro SD card into the slot. Mount the A20 on top of your vehicle's stock mirror and secure it with the elastic bands. Mount the backup camera either inside or outside the vehicle since it is weatherproof. Connect the rear camera cable to the mirror and route it through the headliner towards the back at the rear camera's location. The mirror also works as a reversing backup camera that will automatically show you a view of what's immediately behind you. To enable this function, you will need to connect the red wire on the camera's cable to your white reversing bulb. Finally, plug in and route the power cable and connect it to your vehicle's aux slider port to automatically record video 3 seconds after the ignition is turned on. The A20's 10 inch screen will constantly show you a live view from the rear of your vehicle. Alternatively, you can quick press the power button to turn off the display and use it as a regular mirror while both cameras continue recording the front and back of your vehicle. The mirror also has up and down arrows that allow you to change the vertical view angle to one that suits you best. The front camera will record video at 1080p with its 170 degree wide angle lens. The rear camera's video will be recorded at 720p and will provide you with a much larger coverage of what's behind you compared to your vehicle's stock mirror. Let's now have a look at the camera's interface and configuration. You can enter into the interface by pressing the home button on the screen. There you will see the icons for the car DVR where you will be able to see the live views of the front and back cameras and start or stop the video recording, photographs to take still images, playback to review the recorded video on the SD card, and the settings. In the settings you will be able to change the mirror's volume, change the video recording's resolution, change the photo resolution, Set the recording interval between 1, 2, or 3 minutes. Turn night vision on to improve the visibility in low light scenarios. You can turn the motion detector on or off. Mute the microphone. Set the G-sensor sensitivity. Turn the parking monitor on to record impacts while parked. Set the language. Change the screen's brightness. Set the date and time. Format the SD card and reset to factory defaults. In conclusion, the A20 mirror dash cam can provide you with three safety features at once. First, it is an HD dash camera that simultaneously records both the front and back of your vehicle. Second, it is a reversing camera that automatically shows you what is immediately behind you when backing up. And third, it will provide you with a much larger field of view of what is behind your vehicle, which can make your driving experience safer and more amiable. If you'd like to check out the A20 mirror, don't forget to click the links below. Thank you very much for watching, and if you like this video, please consider subscribing, commenting, and sharing. Coming up next are the video sample clips for your evaluation. I'll see you on our next review.